Hello darlings and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials with Creative Vinyl Designs. So I cannot wait to show you what I have in store for you today, but first I want to show this. If anyone has caught the last tutorial, this was a wood grain crackle effect ombre. So I basically wanted to take this crackle to a whole nother level. I've not seen it done yet, so I'm hoping this is actually going to work. So if anyone is in the group, Everything Tumblr Tutorials, I actually did a live last week showcasing this color, which is called Maleficent by Glitzy Girl Glitter. And I did the epoxy method. And then when that dried, I did another coat of epoxy and I've since sanded the cup. And you can see where it was sanded and how rough and dull it looks. But not to worry, wherever our peekaboo is gonna come through, everywhere that it's rough, it's it's not gonna be dull. It's gonna show, uh, it's gonna get glossy again. Let's going to be glossy. So I know a lot of newbies can, are concerned about whether they're going to shine back up and you do definitely shine right back up. So I've already got my decals cut out. This is not typically the, the, the decals that I like to use. I normally use um, magic cover but obviously not in clear. Um, I didn't have any floral print and I am out of the wood grain print to to do what I wanted to do. So this is a Cricut vinyl that we're going to place throughout the tumbler with no rhyme or reason. And then I have my Sweeter Than Honey decal that I also want to apply. But for now, let's just go ahead and get these decals on the cup. And again, I'm going to place them, no rhyme or reason. I just want to make sure I save myself a section for the decal. And when you're placing these honeycombs, it's really important you guys make sure you place the points upward and not across. So you don't, like see how it has the, the, the tip here? That's how you wanna place it on the cup. You don't wanna place it on the cup. Let me see if I can show you like this. So you don't want them squared off. You want the points at the top. So let's just grab a couple and place them on. Now this cup is very rough still. Um, to be honest, it's very rough and I'm hoping that that works in our favor with the crackle. It did not have to be smooth for this purpose. Whereas normally when you're going to do any type of a peekaboo, you definitely want your surface like glass. You want it very, very smooth when you're gonna do a peekaboo. But since we're gonna do the crackle theme, I don't think I need it to be that smooth. So hopefully it works in my favor. So I'm basically just placing these points up. Let's see. You also want to make sure that you varnish these really well so that we don't have paint or glue that slips up underneath. Just trying to decide if I want to add more or maybe I'll add in a couple of small ones. So if you catch me using my X-Acto knife, I am because somehow I have managed to misplace not one, but both of my weeding tools. So, <clears throat> This is very unorthodox, um, but you know what? It works. It's getting the job done, and that's all that matters. Now, taking these off <clears throat> might be a little more difficult, but we're going to work it. We are going to make it happen. All right, so I think that's all that I want to put on there for now. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you the mix. So this is, again, white paint. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but you can pick this up at Walmart. You can pick this up at Michael's. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. So I've already got this poured and I'm gonna use amethyst purple from Glitzy Girl Glitter and I'll have the link down below for that. And we're just gonna mix a few drops to start right into the paint. And we're gonna give that a good stir. has a purple tint but I want it to be a little bit darker I 
but I also have a lot of paint in here, so I'm gonna have to keep adding until I'm satisfied. Okay. So it looks kind of pink, but it also looks purple, but it's very, very, very light, and that is actually gonna work in our favor. So I'm very happy with that. So the next step now is the glue. And we're gonna take our Mod Podge brush, which you can purchase at Michael's. And we're just gonna start applying the glue. And this is gonna start the crackle effect. So I'm gonna kinda of slosh it on here, no rhyme or reason. We're gonna start at the bottom and then we'll work our way to the top. See, I've gotten, I've just gotten to where I just slosh, slosh on the glue, on the glue and the paint too. Get some glue on the bottom. It's like I need to buy some more glue. Got one little section right here. Okay. So that glue portion is done and now we are going to wait and I will come back when this is tacky and then we will apply our paint. Okay, see you in just a few minutes. Okay guys, we are back and we're ready for the paint and we're just gonna slosh it on there. So definitely under a different light, this um, paint does not look pink. Haven't seen it outside, but it does not look pink so Hopefully this gives me the color that I was looking for. If not, I'm sure we'll be okay. I'm gonna run it anyways. And as you can see, I'm literally just sloshing the paint all over the tumbler. I'm not doing any fancy strokes or anything like that. at the bottom okay so that's literally it for the paint now normally I take heat to this just to quicken the crackle effect which has already started in some places so I don't want to have too much heat because I don't want the vinyl that I had to use to actually adhere to the tumbler. So I'm gonna put a little bit of heat from a good distance and then just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit off to the side and dry and then we will come back. So again, very little. And I'm at a nice distance away from this cup. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not, <clears throat> this right here I'm not very happy with. I must have overstroked when I was going back and forth right in this little section, but that's okay. It looks like I have a decal right there, so that's gonna take some of the hit off that section. But the rest of it, guys, look at how amazing 
that crackle looks. Oh, I am so excited to see this. I cannot wait to get those decals off and let that purple shine through. I'm very excited about that. And as you can see in the camera, you can still see the decals, which is excellent. I did not have to use hot glue, which a lot of people do when you're doing peekaboos to where you can actually see where your decals are. And I did not have to do that. So that's a blessing and one less step to worry about. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then we will come right back in for the next step. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are back and we are ready to peel our decals. So just as a reminder, I've lost not one, but both of my weeding tools. So I do apologize for having to use my X-Acto knife. Um, I also have a set of tweezers that I purchased off of Amazon and I'm gonna go with this one just to kind of help me pull them up if there's a little bit of resistance. So, and I probably waited about 20 minutes for this to dry before I came back in to mess with it. So we're just very, very, very carefully gonna pull this decal off. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look amazing. I am super excited. Uh oh, I went too quick and I pulled that up. Darn it. It's all right, we're gonna keep going. Just gonna pull a little bit more gentle next time. That's not sealing the fate on this cup. Just so you guys know, we are gonna keep going. And I wanna be really, really, really careful when I do this so that I do not risk pulling up my paint. So, um, experienced tumblers, you could probably do this how I'm about to do it. If you're a newbie, I would recommend that at this stage that you go ahead and epoxy the tumbler first, and that way you don't risk a, a mishap. Just save yourself the time. What I'm doing is kind of daredevilish. I really shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to do it. So please pray for me. <laughs> ever so carefully just pull back the contact paper and this is why I'm using dollar store brand just so that it, it's it's not sticky oh see you don't want that to happen we don't want that to happen so we're gonna go back another direction So again, this is why you want to, for one, use dollar store paper, and for two, definitely um, epoxy first. This is something I would have done off camera many and many a times and would have risked pulling my paint. So 
so right in that section for the most part I'm assuming everything else was dry this little bits here was not dry so it's gonna give me the struggle that I expected I didn't expect it to be that scary. Yikes. Okay. Woo! That was scary. Okay, so see what happens if you don't wait. I should have waited, but I'm just gonna give that a chance to dry a little bit more. I thought I was ready for that, but I, I clearly wasn't. Um, I am showing you the mishap because this is the kind of thing that can happen if in fact you do not wait. But like I said, I think I've already got an idea that's gonna recover that. So I'm not going, I'm not gonna strip this cup. We are gonna move forward. Hey guys okay we are back and we are ready for the sunflowers and I already cheated and had to put I had to put one at the bottom already um, but that's okay and so about this little mishap you know what I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna mess with it at all I'm not gonna do anything to cover it up I'm just gonna let it go I am NOT that concerned about it at this point um, just just remember guys if if you are new you do not want this to happen so my recommendation is do your decal do your your glue or your crackle method your paint peel and then epoxy and that'll save you a lot of heartache um, I'm okay with this little incident it it's it happens it happens when you rush so just be mindful of that so let's just go ahead and proceed with some sunflowers. And again, I've already cut some out. I did the print and cut method. And I kind of want to just place them sporadically. So I, I took two of them and cut them in half because I know I want one down here at the bottom. And I'm also going to put one up here at the top that I have already just kind of cut in half with my X-Acto knife. So we're just going to just place it right down here at the bottom. You want to be very careful of pulling these off of their backing because they will tear. So I'm not a fan of that. So I want to see about covering it up. Just don't know if I should use a large flower or a small. I think I like this one and I am going to overlap the glitter just a little bit look at how cool that looks super super pretty sunflowers crackle the bee oh this guys this is so cool the bees and the sunflowers was done with printable vinyl And the Sweeter Than Honey was done with um, holographic vinyl. So that's a nice little touch, the little bees, a nice little touch. All right. Okay, guys, we are back and we're ready for the epoxy. I've already got mine mixed up and I have also added the Tiny Diamond from Glitzy Girl Glitter. I am anxious to see this bad boy shine up. This is an awkward way of me um, doing the epoxy. I feel like it's very far away from me. I'm also gonna be very, very thin. 
Um, very light handed. I don't want to mess anything up because I did not seal this at all. It is just straight ready for epoxy. You definitely want to make sure that all of your decals have dried so that they won't pop up on you. And now over where it says sweeter than honey, it doesn't even look like a mistake. It literally just blends right in. Perfect. And I just want to thin this out just a little bit, very, very, very gently. And then very gently we'll take the heat torch and just pop any bubbles. And if this needs another coat, I'll apply the next coat um, when this first coat, this first coat dries. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like and subscribe button to see more Tumblr tutorials coming soon. Also, I want to let you guys know, I thought personally that I was answering every single question that came in. It looks like I have a little work to do because as of today, I just learned, my son said, do not rely on your notifications on my phone. So there was a great deal of questions that I missed um, that I have since made an effort to go back and answer and that was on one tutorial so I definitely need to get back in there and um, See what questions I might have missed so that I can get them answered for you guys So I apologize if I left you guys with an impression of me answering every single one I didn't realize that I was missing so many so I apologize for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as I'll call it a crackle peekaboo method. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.